everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the comic book review series. And today I am going to be talking about issue four of Batman 89. And this features the debut of Robin in this universe. Now, for those of you who know already, Robin was supposed to be in the third Batman movie, Batman Forever, which was originally going to be directed by Tim Burton. And as we all know, Robin never actually appeared in the first two Batman movies, but we know that Robin was originally going to be played by Marlon Wayans, but unfortunately that never saw the light of day. So this is our first official introduction to Robin in this universe. And as you can see here, not really what you would call your traditional Robin costume. He's kind of got more of a ninja sort of attire, as you can tell by the hood and the mask. And this was a look that they adapted to the Arkham games with Tim Drake in Arkham City. So I'm not really entirely sure if Robin would have looked like this in the Tim Burton Batman movies, but it's always interesting to ponder what if, you know, so it's always fun to do that. And it's a very um, different introduction to Robin because as we all know, Dick Grayson has always been known as the traditional Robin. Of course, we had Jason Todd, we've had Tim Drake, my favorite Robin of all time. And we've had Kerry Kelly from the Frank Miller, Batman graphic novels. And we also have in recent years, Damian Wayne and Stephanie Brown. So it's been a lot of Robins, but of course we all remember the traditional classic three, Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, and Tim Drake, more so Dick Grayson for obvious reasons. So basically what's happened so far, Harvey Dent got burned after trying to save Drake in the burning building. And now he's officially become Two-Faced, but not completely. You know, he's laying there in hospital, one side of his face completely bandaged up as he's trying to fight the good and the bad sides inside his personality and we see him holding the classic coin at the end. So they did a great job setting up Harvey Dent to become Two-Face and now we're going to find out how that's going to play out but also the introduction to Robin. So let's get straight into it, let's have a look. So we've got the protest rally going on at the Burnside part of Gotham City with Lieutenant Harvey Bullock. So it looks like Drake will be the new Robin in this universe. Quite an interesting character is Drake. As you can see there's explosions going off here. And here he is, our first official appearance of Robin in this universe. So we should get a better look. It's a pretty cool design, I must say. Very different to what I was expecting. I was expecting something more like what the costume that Robin had in the animated series, you know, like this red suit, red shirt, you know, and green gloves and green tights sort of thing, you know, like what he had in the 90s cartoon. But I'm kind of glad they went with this. It looks very similar to. Azrael from the Nightfall story arc, just without the big metallic gargoyle like wings. So we see up to this point here, Bruce has already met up with Selena as Catwoman. So there's the worm. will they, won't they sort of scenario going on. And here Harvey Dent is trying to escape from hospital. So it looks like he's giving into the two-faced side of his personality. So by this point, Barbara Gordon in issue three, she became Commissioner Barbara Gordon. Look at that. That is, hang on. That is an amazing shot of Two-Face. Very similar to what they would use in the animated series. 
so he takes out one of the orderlies. I like how they capture the feel of the 80s because, you know, you can see there he's got a Walkman. <laughs> you know, it's really captured like the, the feel of the 80s. So Drake has now come to Wayne Manor. So him and Bruce are more or less acquainted with each other. And Bruce even says here, you're always welcome. We're partners in crime now, so it's kind of cool, hinting at the uh, relationship they'll go on to have, or what we think they'll go on to have in this universe. As you can see, uh, the personalities here, the dynamic between these two is just incredible, because Bruce Wayne in this universe is very quiet, doesn't talk a lot, and Drake is just like very loud and got a sense of humour, so they've really captured the dynamic of the traditional ward father ward sort of relationship they have here they even get into a little scuffle as well that's kind of cool very rarely you see bruce actually fight in broad daylight so it's kind of cool here so we find out it's the same stuff that Harvey Dent got burned with, which was battery acid. But it turns out not to be battery acid, it's actually water. <laughs> that is an amazing shot there. It looks just like Michael Keaton. So um, they've more or less established him as Drake Winston. So I would say Jake Wins Drake Winston, he's kind of like Dick Grayson mixed with Tim Drake with a little bit of Jason Todd's rebellious side. So he's kind of like a combination of the first three Robins, which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I know it's meant to be Selena Kyle, but when I first saw it, I actually thought it was Harley and Quinzel. I thought, oh, they're actually bringing Harley Quinn into this universe? But it's not. I actually thought for a moment that it was... So yeah, she's still Sergeant Gordon. I know I said earlier that she's Commissioner Gordon, but that was in more or less in Harvey Dent's head. She officially is still Sergeant Gordon, so she probably will become Commissioner at some point. So Selena's obviously up to no good, as we can see. So this is actually the first official time that Selena Kyle and Barbara Gordon have actually met in this universe. So it's kind of cool because I don't think they had much interaction. You know, I don't think I remember them having much interaction in the comics much. I remember um, in the animated series they did. There might have been some comics where they might have interacted, but I don't remember it. But I'll have to check that out. But I definitely think they might have had at least one or two. I'm not too sure. So there's Harvey oh, Dent there. He's two faced now. So he's more or less the bad guy now. He's pretty much the main villain. Look at that. That is awesome. I like that. That's a really cool shot. Between like light and dark. Like the light tunnel and the dark tunnel. That's a really, really cool shot here. It's kind of interesting how Bruce would just willingly take someone to the Batcave because he was so protective of it. I mean, obviously, we remember in the first Batman movie, Alfred brought Vicky Vale to the Batcave, which they kind of played a little gag on that in Batman Returns when Bruce said, oh, who brought Vicky Vale into the Batcave? He goes, oh, hey, Vic, come on in, you know? <laughs> so I like that they've kind of played on that, but this time Bruce actually willingly brings Drake Wilson to the Batcave. So that, that's, that's kind of nice. It kind of shows you how much... Bruce has changed from the first two Batman movies. So it looks like we're actually going to see the official pairing of Batman and Robin in this universe. So it's good. It's just a good introduction to this Robin. I'm interested to see how the relationship between Batman and Robin in this universe will work. But 
I like it. Look, even got the giant Connie, giant Penny. We need the giant dinosaur. <laughs> but um, by and large, good issue. Done a great job in establishing the relationship between Bruce Wayne and Drake Wilson in this universe. So I would imagine in issue five, we'll probably see Batman and Robin working together to take on Two-Face. So that should be a lot of fun. But yeah, it's a good introduction. A bit different to how I would imagine it to be. I'm not really too sure would they have gone this way in the Tim Burton movies if he actually got to make the third Batman movie. But it's kind of nice that they've kind of more or less established that here. And the fact that Bruce Wayne actually invited Drake Wilson willingly into the Batcave just shows you how much Bruce is willing to trust someone with his secrets because he was very, very protective of his secret identity. So it's kind of cool that Bruce has kind of mellowed out. So look, if I'm going to be more open, then I need to start trusting people. So it's a good start here. So there you have it. Batman 89, issue four. Good stuff. Cool introduction to Robin. So that's going to be it from me. I am going to wrap this up now. What is your thoughts and opinions on the introduction to Robin in this universe? Do you think it's a good thing that Bruce willingly invited Drake to not only Wayne Manor, but to the Batcave as well? Do you think they've done a good thing here with mellowing out Bruce's personality more? And also, what is up with Selina Kyle and the disc from Max Shrek's company? What's her hidden agenda? And also, what about Harvey Dent now that he's Two-Face? What path will he go on now? Can he be helped? Will Batman find out? And also, how do you think the pairing of Batman and Robin is going to play out in this universe? Do you think it could work? And also, how do you think you could imagine a Robin in the Tim Burton Batman movies? Do you think it would have worked on the big screen or not? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the comic book review series. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, thanks for listening.